guys, my name is Michael and welcome to a new GTK uh, tutorial. Today we are going to talk a new widget, a new widget, uh, a new container widget, which is called GTK Overlay. Uh, as you can see, the GTK Overlay says it is a container which overlay widgets on the top of each other. And the description says also something like GTK Overlay, it is a container which contains a single main child on top of which it can place overlay widgets. In other words, the position of each overlay widget is determined by its horizontal alling and vertical alling properties. Widgets with both alignments set to GTK alling start will be placed at the top left corner of the GTK overlay container, whereas an overlay with horizontal alling set to GTK alling center and uh, vertical alling set to GTK alling end. Whatever. Uh, this is uh, too much information which you need to know. Anyway, the next thing is that uh, CSS node has, of course, a name overlay, but it has a lot of style classes like left, right, top, and button. We'll see about this later. And of course, we have those functions, which are five. And let us start with the first function it says creates a new GTK overlay. So for this, we need to provide a GTK widget. Okay, you will understand in a second. GTK widget. Overlay, not ever. Overlay, and now we are going to point it to GTK overlay new, and now we can GTK container add call GTK container. We are going to put it inside our window, of course. I'll overlay and now we are done now I'm going to compile it and run it you won't see any difference of course you don't because it is a container what would you see about the container if you want to see it maybe if you can set its background and margins to to see a difference between the con uh, the window itself and the container which you just created but this is not important right now for you what is important for you it has it is that the next next function it is the function which explains everything you need to know about this um, widget gtk overlay add overlay says it is a function returns void and takes two widgets uh, to arguments the first one it is our overlay and the second one is the a widget which we want to place it so adds widget to overlay the widget will be stacked on the top of the main widget added widget k container add so what that means this means that we don't need to call gtk container add when we call this function we'll see in a second why uh, at the position at which widget is placed is by it's determined from its horizontal alling and vertical alling properties. Again, we have this story. Okay, uh, let's see about the GK container add. Uh, we need to create uh, some uh, some uh, widgets. We are, we are going to create buttons. So, GTK widget button. Um, let's let's call it main. Whatever, it's not important. And now we are going to create the button right here. button main gtk uh, button new with label main button okay now now you, you have two ways here of course you can call the gtk container add like i'm doing right now right here and you can put the button main inside the overlay which will be basically the same thing. Okay, I forgot something. Uh, oh, let's is using it. Uh, yes, because uh, I need to. I need to call this function after we create overlay. So basically, we can do something like this, where we put our button inside our overlay. You see, and we have our button right here, which works fine. And of course, uh, now. The next thing which we can do is the next thing which we should do it is not to call gtk container add uh, instead we are going to call like like the manual says the gtk overlay add overlay so i'm going to call this function the first parameter is of course the gtk overlay 
and the next one will be the widget which in our case is the button now I'm going to compile it and run it and once that uh, we run it we see that the button is there no difference but also not so much important thing which we can see here or uh, too much meaning of this function okay it's true now let me show you something else gtk widget let me create four buttons uh, let's say button one i'm going to create only the button one now just for uh, the sake of the explanation and then you will see why and I'm going to call it also button one and now I'm going to call it again but this time by passing the button one as, as well now watch when I'm going to compile and run the program now you will see something interesting you will see only the button one but you see no uh, button main anymore so the main button is, is gone well this happens because like the the function says the widget will be stacked on the top of the main widget at the widget gate container so the main widget basically was this one and then we put we put above this uh, uh, widget uh, button one widget so now we have two widgets but we see only one to fix this we can follow the its uh, documentation here says the position at uh, widget is placed determined by its uh, horizontal and vertical aligning properties what this means i'm going to show you right now and for this before i'm show you i'm going to create uh, three more buttons because i need to have four buttons it's not important for you right now why but you'll see in a second button four button three button two and now let me add them also so button two button three and button four and now that we have them let us set up the uh, vertical and horizontal link so g object set uh, button one We are going to set its uh, horizontal link like the, they said. Uh, let's set it to, as you can see, uh, its property, those properties from the link, they are uh, the packing starting, uh, link, I mean, uh, at link start and center fill or whatever. Okay, so basically, this is the link property, and the GTK link says that those enumeration which we can set are fill start and center and baseline so i'm going to copy the start right now i'm going to put the uh, horizontal and the uh, vertical are link for uh, button one property to start and then button four i'm going to pack it I'm going to pack it to the end you'll see in a second why and of course the button 2 and 3 let me copy 2 and 3 we are going we are going to pack him uh, like this uh, we are going to use and start start end so basically what we did here we did uh, we set the property horizontal property and vertical property for the button one to be at the start position for the button two uh, it's uh, horizontal um, Alin should it will be at the end and uh, 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 Vertical to start and then the, for the button three we said it's horizontal um, Alin to start and uh, vertical to end and for the four both to end what the different makes you will see now something very funny watch now we have a nice program right now you see we have a widget which uh, it is uh, a button and above this button we have also four buttons now if i um, maximize and unmaximize the window you see the button stays always there it is something like a gtk container fixed but 
in another way to uh, can imagine. Now, if you set some things to your container, for example, for the bu main button, if you set now the G um, object set property for the main button, button main. Let's say if you want to set its margin to 40 pixels. I forgot the comma right here. You will see that those uh, four buttons, they stay there where they are, you see? Those four buttons, they are not moving, but we were resizing the main button by setting its margins. So basically, uh, this is how it's working. If you now need, for example, the button two to put it um, to another position, you can set, of course, its margins to something new. For example, now right here, we can say, uh, margin if if we set it also to 40 like here then goes back to its place where it was at the beginning uh, together with the main button I forgot the comma again watch you see now you have the button on right here and the main button so basically you can play with them the way you want to and uh, you can move them to different position 25 for example i said now to 25 which well doesn't fit anymore you see it looks now different isn't it that's because uh, this is the way how it works the widget okay for the next things uh, we'll check in the next video Thank you guys for watching. If you like it, please subscribe, share with your friends and neighbors. And until next time, see you guys.